One of the things we talk a lot about here on Ag PhD is soil sampling and soil testing, and then finally soil analysis. In other words, how do we take that data and actually use it out in our fields? Well, we're not going to spend a lot of time on that today. We're going to get to that quite a bit this fall and actually go through kind of point by point what you need to know. But where that all starts is, how are you going to soil sample out in your fields? When should you be soil sampling? Those are the things we wanted to get into today. Well, you know, Brian, when you think about soil sampling, you can either do it in a grid format or you can take, you know, one sample for every so much area. You know, maybe you say, oh, okay, I'm going to do one acre grid or I'm going to do a five acre grid or 10 acre grid. Or you could do zone sampling where you say, you know what, I've got this type of soil in my field and I have this type of soil okay. in my field. Okay, all right, let's explain this just a little bit more because what used to happen is people would walk out in a whole 40 acre field, they'd pull some samples, mix them all together and said, well, here's our sample. In fact, quite a few years ago, probably 15, 20 years ago, grid sampling started to get popular where basically you took that same 40 acre field and instead of taking one sample, you split that field up into, like Darren mentioned, one acre, two acre, five acre grids, something like that. Now the downside to that is it's a lot of work and also it's it's kind of expensive well, to do all those tests. it's tests. expensive when you're hiring somebody else, and that's the problem. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. If you need to hire somebody to come out and do soil sampling for you, do it, because you're still gonna get it paid for uh, by changing your fertility program and raising better crops. But here's the other thing, Brian, is you can even do grids right on your smartphone. FarmLogic has a great application that you can go out, set your grid points up for your field, yep pull those samples, it tells you how to number your soil samples that you're gonna send into the lab. I mean, you can't get much easier than that. They give you recommendations back. I mean, that is so simple. You have to try it if you haven't done that already. Okay, so what we've gone to on our farm is rather than grids, we actually go to zones. Now, if you don't know how to do this, it's real simple. Just do a grid sample first, do one year of grid sampling, then combine the grids that are the same. So instead of having 20 grids in a 40 acre field, now you might be down to eight different zones. So it's fewer samples you have to pull and it's less money in terms of the overall soil testing. And when you're doing these different grid points or zone points, what we wanna do is we wanna take soil samples at zero to six inches, but also here and there throughout the field, we'd like to take a few a little deeper. We'll take a zero to six inch sample and then when you've got that hole there from the core that you just pulled, we'll go down another six inches deep and take one that's in the six to 12 inch profile. And then we'll do the same. We'll go down deeper and take a 12 to 18 inch and an 18 to 24 inch. All right, so two last questions that we get all the time. When do I take the sample in the spring, the fall, or right in the middle of the growing season? Just be consistent. It doesn't really make that much difference. We like to do it in the fall after the crop is already out and we do it every fall. And then do I have to take a soil sample from every field every year or can I wait a few years? You don't have to. If it's a new field, I'd suggest taking it every year for the first three or four years as you make changes. If it's a field you've had for the last 30 years and you really know the fertility and how many nutrients you're removing and that kind of thing, maybe sampling every two to four years is plenty. Well, soil sampling is very important to get to know your ground, to understand what you need to do, to save money on your fertilizer bill, all yep. those things. It's really important. So make sure you're doing that on your fields before you put in a fall crop or certainly after your crops come off this fall before you put in a spring crop next year. Well, one thing soil sampling really isn't going to help you do at all is control our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 